Greetings one and all. My name is Praveen. I'm from this company called Lush Balcony. I am here to talk about EV electric vehicles and what is the career progression in electric vehicles. I have spoken about uh, electric vehicles uh, the same uh, about the same presentation in Canada. Right now, I'm going to actually tell you to you know, present this in English for people who don't you know understand uh, Canada. So my name is so, to talk about electric vehicles I'm sure that you guys are all aware of as, as to what is electric vehicle and uh, you know electric vehicle means to say it is about two wheelers four wheelers three wheelers commercial vehicles and everything so the domains which is uh, infrastructure the vehicle vehicle is something that you know the uh, energy storage system and uh, the vehicle components and the uh, vehicle user interface uh, and that comes in the R&D. Infrastructure is infrastructure which is with, with regards to the charging systems, the battery swapping systems, the infrastructure about installation. Uh, that is something with regards to that infrastructure and with regards to support services is like education and training. Something that I, at we at Walkney we do is we do provide training on these bases that I will come to you a little later on that. Now, what is the benefit? Now, you must be an existing, uh, you know, a service engineer or you must be a you know would say uh, you know an engineer who's looking for a career progression career path and you must be a you know a, a ITI student or diploma student so these things this mean this video is going to improvise and help you to understand as to what exactly is that you would want to do and where exactly you would want to step foot in your career now, if you see uh, in electric vehicles, the OEMs that we have is R&D OEMs, which is very like vehicle manufacturing, and uh, which with regards to the vehicle manufacturing, from there it goes to B2B, which is business to business, which goes to the distribution list. From there it gets to sales. From there sales it gets to the consumer, and after say after sales services. So this is just a, a brief idea to let you know on the tire one and tire two as to what we exactly do. The supplies and uh, with regards to vehicle components and stuff. Now, on an electric vehicle sector, which I will tell you, uh, let's say that, you know, uh, every 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 uh, manufacturers, every company, they have something called as R&D, they have research and development, they have manufacturing units, and then they have sales, they have distribution, they have after sales, they have marketing, they have aftermarket sales and all these things. So, EV is vast when it comes to EV right now uh, with regards to how things are going, how, uh, you know, uh, the way it is trending and stuff. Things are very vast and the way it is going to improvise and it is going to uh, be the next boom in the industry. Now, if you actually see in 2022, we were at about, uh, uh, just about, uh, uh, I would say that we were about 3.5%. Uh, we were about 3.5% and uh, by that is 2021. But in 2026, we are going, you know, we are climbing all the way up the ladder to 17%, which is about 40,000 40, EVs and with regards to uh, the, you know, all in uh, EV metric in the uh, sales in India, uh, be it matter two wheelers, be it matter four wheelers and stuff. So it is trending. This graph is just to show you, not to complicate yourself, this graph is just to sh show you, the basis, the original study that we have done. It is, it is definitely increasing and it is definitely going to be beneficial in the future for uh, to, to support net zero uh, carbon. And this is something that if you see that, you know, it is registration of e-cars, which is going to be in 2026, it is going to be about 50 lakh, uh, you know, and the percentage is going to be 12%. Right now, we are into uh, 4%, 0.4%, but it is going to increase to 12%. That is a huge difference. We are already in 2022. I'm just talking about another 2026, another probably four to five years down the lane as to what exactly it is going to be. And this is something that you know if you want if you, this if you're not able to understand this PPT, you can inbox us on the link when when you pay, when you guys are watching it. We will be able to you know send this PPT to, to you, or if you guys want any clarification, we can call you and we can explain to you. The blue that you see is, uh, you know, the cars, the private cars, the black one is the commercial cars, the uh, grey one that you see is buses and uh, the green one that you see is two-wheelers and three-wheelers. So two-wheelers and three-wheelers are the main thing which is light green and dark green. Two-wheelers and three-wheelers are going to be the main thing which is going to, uh, uh, you know, uh, which is going to be uh, the customers who is going to buy. So already uh, right now, as we speak, already I do see when from from the time I commute to from my house 
to office, I will already do see a lot of electric vehicles. In fact, I happened to see one EQZ, uh, the Mercedes-Benz EQZ today. I mean, today was the first time that I actually saw it on the road. So apparently, you know, uh, people are um, getting to know as to what exactly EV is going to do in the industry and that is really, really going to be really beneficial. And with regards to job providers in the EV sector is the vehicles, vehicle manufacturers like I do, are indeed the battery manufacturers, there are a lot of battery manufacturers and vehicle component manufacturers, infrastructure when it comes to utility component, providers of EV charging stations, which is normal charging stations or battery swapping technologies, the battery swapping technologies which is there. And when it comes to standard policy makers and with, with regards to, uh, you know, uh, standard developers, uh, consumers and support services like, you know, service technicians, that is that after sales that I was talking about, technicians and, you know, uh, first responders, insurance companies also. So this is something which is going to be uh, so beneficial and so, uh, uh, you know, good uh, for you guys, uh, if you guys are, that, you know, taking part in this. What is going to happen is you are not deviating from what you studied. Like for an example, if you're an engineer, if you're a sales engineer, if you're a service manager, the future is going to be EV. At that point of time, you must not be stuck because right now ICE engines are running. Right, right now, comparatively, ICE engines are more. But then the point is it is not going to be the same. It is going to be something completely different in the near future. And this is something that, you know, that's, uh, you know, I will have to look at my screen as well because this is the various sectors, like I told you, R&D manufacturing, dealership sales, autom automobile sales, road transport, charging stations, like on the highways and road transport again, logistics. Now, in R&D manufacturing, we have mechatronics, we have electronic, te electronic technicians and equipment technicians, data analysts, and that jobs require major reskilling. You need to have maintenance, test technicians, you know, welding technicians, vehicle assembly, that is in the manufacturing unit, which is R&D and manufacturing. But when it comes to dealership sales, home sales, digital marketing, you know, online sales, e outlet sales consultant, that, you know, you put, you put a, you know, standard kiosk or something and you actually put two, three vehicles there and start doing marketing on road. And that is sales consultant role. That, that is the job that requires the reskilling risk, sales consultant. And when it comes to automobile services, that is spare parts, auto sales, spare parts, paint technician, battery technician, uh, electric uh, vehicle technician, that requires a service technician. So the role for that is service te technician and the automobile services. And road transport is something like, you know, like I told you, the charging stations on the highways and stuff. So it's uh, just, uh, station supervisor, car, service, uh, car, car services, uh, car serviceman, ferry analyst, engineer, roadside assistants. For that will be again called as a service technician. Now the last thing is uh, with regard to road, road transport is it's about the you know loading and loading logistics precisely that is coming completely into logistics with regards to you know basic mechanics, stable computer training, and you know loading and unloading and stuff. So it's vast, guys. So what what I would say is rather you know the way we look at it, the way we are actually the main reason we step foot into this industry is because. This is going to be the next best thing which is going to happen uh, in India. In foreign countries, yes, I do not want to get there, but then the study also says that in foreign countries there are a lot of electric vehicles. In North America, just to give you a classic example, you guys will be aware of Tesla. In North America, they have run about 1,700 starting station, which has already been installed because Elon Musk, uh, the owner of Tesla, is from North America. So, in Walking what we do is we give regional, in regional languages, we give training, immersive learning, and we give career, uh, you know, counseling. And the courses that we offer is being created by our industry experts who are very well, well versed with regards to as to what they are doing. And um, we do, we do give industry, rec uh, uh, you know, uh, re recognized certificates. So we are already affiliated with the SCGJ and, uh, you know, SDC certification and all those stuff. And it is all coming at an affordable cost is because we have already, as you see, uh, you can go to our YouTube channel and you can see there are a lot of things that we are talking about electric vehicle alone. And not only that, we also talk about solar, we also talk about wind, smart city, water management, completely a net zero carbon company with regards to the skill tech, which we are wanting to educate our, our generation, the current and the future generation for them to educate their current and the future generation. Uh, with that saying that, you know, we do also provide counselling and uh, we, uh, career counselling we do give and career uh, job assistance program we have and we have location based job searches that we provide and, uh, you know, we tune, tweak the resume also and background verification also has been something that we will be able to take care of. 
So the kind of courses that we offer is as of now, let's look, uh, look completely into EV because I'm not going to get into solar and wind because that is going to be in another session. So we have power technician course, we have uh, power professional course, power master course and power technician course basic, which is from the below. If you see basic, anybody can attend. And uh, when it comes to the next one, the eligibility criteria is diploma or, you know, ITI, uh, your B -B -B, diploma or ITI certified, you need to be completed that. And uh, when it comes to the professional course, which is ITI, is something that which is a must. And when it comes to power technician course, 10 pass is fine. Mm -hmm. If you have just completed your 10th and if you want to get into EV directly, you will be able to attend this course. And uh, the master course is there. For that, you need to have a criteria that you need to be an engineer or, you know, a diploma holder. That only then it will actually make sense is because you will not be uh, in master course there is going to be a lot of uh, you know depth of what ev and what what, the, what about uh, the manufacturing everything put together because we have our internship programs and we have our job ready courses also job guarantee courses also we have so guys uh, look into it and uh, see um, do let us know if there is anything because i do have uh, our email address as support at walkany.com you can contact us and you can let us know if there is anything that we can do to help you guys to upskill uh, with regards to your already, I'm sure you guys are already skilled, but I, we can upskill you on the various aspects of electric vehicle and what are the benefits that you're going to get in taking courses in electric vehicle and how far you're going to reach if that is what is your interest in. Thank you for watching this video. Do subscribe to our channel, uh, you know, Vakini and do like if you like this video and do comment uh, if there is anything that we can improve. Thank you so much guys. God bless. Have a good day.